we're gonna talk about what happened a month ago. Oh, <laughs> meron akong video ng actual ng paglabas niya. But I'm not gonna show that. Don't worry, guys. Hindi niya makakita yung hiwa ko, yung mga lumang loob ko. No? Very light-hearted. Yung mga shenanigans lang namin tatlo nung ano, nung nag-aantay. At walang madugo, walang walang tusok-tusok. Kasi, ako din, ayoko din makita yun. I don't wanna record it too. Also, syempre, privacy din ng mga, ng mga staff, ng mga nurses and doctors. So, so, so nag-start siya 19 ng gabi. Punta pa kami ng best friend ni Julia. May discomfort na ako nakifeel nung umaga. Kung mag-walk kami, nilala niya ako sa best friend. Might as well buy some memory card and look for cameras. And I can't afford, wow, this is too much. Pretty sure they're expensive. Naskam ko na naman yung kasama ko. So, ayun, I got a mount for the car. Also, SD card for the camera. Kinakarap talaga nyo yung business. Happy yarn? Yeah, look. Hey! <laughs> it's cute. I don't have to be like. Suntay na ulo ng polis. Bus wala ako dyan, bus ha. Bus wala ako dyan. Bus? Tapos tao dyan, bus. <laughs> bus, tinatry ko lang naman kumita. Bus, Mag bakit ka KJ, bus? Tapos yun. Kinagabihan nun, anong afternoon, nag-edit pa ako ng videos to upload the next day. Tinapos ko siya hanggang, siguro hanggang launa, ala, ala, alas dos na ng gabi. Pero may nag-feel na akong discomfort. Tapos natulog ako mga alas stress. Ay, nung natulog ako, sumasakit na siya every time na gigising ako para magwiwi. Tapos nung mga alas 4, mga alas 4 o alas 5, sakit na, bakit di ko inuura? Sana, hindi ako masyado nagpapay attention. Ko, kasi nakakopnakbokus na ako sa, sa pain. I was trying to figure out kung pupunta naman kami o hindi. So, may pasok, may pasok si Julian na umaga doon. Ah, mga alas 4, sabi ko sa kanya, masakit na. Pero hindi ko pa inuura. Sabi, sabi ko, hindi ba inuura? Sabi, hindi mo tinatayin. Kasi sabi, Sabi doon sa yun sa baby book na yung mga yung yung guidelines nila sa amin. Dapat daw every 6 minutes yung rule na 611, 6 contractions for 1 minute in 1 hour. So dapat dapat yun yung numbers mo para ma-confirm mo na next start na yung labor. That's the time when you have to call the birthing unit and tell them na yun yung regular yung contractions mo. So, trinay kong gawin yun, nurasa ko kasi may, uh, may baby ako. I'm having five, at least five, no. Hindi ko alam kung ilang contractions, but naglalas siya ng one, one, one minute. So, more, more or less one minute, a couple of seconds. Tapos, ayun, for, for an hour, regular siya. Pero hindi siya as strong. Sabi ko, might as well, tawag na ako. Kasi hindi naman na kung hindi na naman ako makatulong. Tapos sabi, Ay, hindi pa, hindi pa, hindi ko pa pala, ano, sinabi kay Junior, huwag pumasok ko, so, standby lang, pero uncomfortable ako, so, pinagluto ko siya breakfast, mawag nga ako, sabi naman, sabi, oh no, yung, ano, yung 5, yung 511 rule, 511, 611 rule na yun, guide lang siya, it doesn't have to be that exact, so, I was like, so, uh, what am I supposed to do? Na, ayaw ko naman pumunta ng hospital na, and na last minute na lang like iiirin niya nakatakot din kasi you have we have to travel about 20 minutes to go to the hospital I'm like oh this is my second call I'm just getting you know that my contractions are getting regular tapos sinabi ko nga yung 611 rule I'm having that that's then anong tinanong nila kung meron daw bang may bleeding may may ano ba may rupture ng water sabi ko wala naman wala naman ako napansin Better, sabi niya, bearable pa ba yung pain? Sabi niya, yeah, I, can, I think I can still handle it. Sabi niya, yeah, it's recommended that you stay at home. Plus, syempre, kailangan, kailangan mag-decide ni Julian kung papasok siya or hindi. Sabi ko, I think this is it. Kaya kung gano'n, nag-decide na kami, hindi na siya papasok. Kasi, 
paano pag mas sumakit ng ano, wala akong kasama doon hanggang 7, 7 or 8 ng umaga eh, umaga pa dadating sila rin. Kasi nasa work siya, so dalawa lang kami doon. So, may ko, magpaalam ka na lang, kasi feeling ko, ito na. Tapos nagpaalam na siya, sabi niya, hindi ko siya hindi siya papasa kasi meron na ako na feel ng contraction, ganyan, ganyan. ganyan. Tapos, nung pagkahin, nung tinanay kong humiga para matulog, para hindi ko na maraming dumiging. Mas umiksi yung interval nung ano, nung interval nung contraction. Sabi ko, simula kagabi, hindi siya masyado. Kasi malikot ko paggabi, hindi like, pa siya nasa ito paggabi. So, mag-worry ako. Sabi ko, ano nangyayari? Pero wala namang beating or any other signs. So, kinonfirm ko ulit. Tapos lang sa film mo pa siya, within, within 12 hours, ganyan-ganyan. Sabi, okay ba naman? So, binaba na naman. And the third call, yun na, sabi ko. I don't wanna go there when it's too late. Tapos, kailangan ko na ng meds. Tapos yun nga, punta na kami ni Julie, mga 6 o'clock ng umaga to. Punta kami doon, buti walang traffic. Then, we went to the birthing unit. Pagdating namin doon, may ko pang i-endure for a bit. Pero sabi ko, ang, oh, ayun, papahirapan ko pa yung sarili ko. Andito, available naman itong mga to. Wala namang, ano, side effect ng madala. Sabi ko, bin, tsaka nagbasa, binasa ko naman yung mga medication na pwede nilang i-offer. So, sabi ko, pahino na ako ng gas para at least mawala yung edge. I could compare it sa period cramps. Tuloy-tuloy siya. Yung parang iniipit yung ano mo, yung balakang mo, na may sumusuntok sa ano mo. I don't know. So, i pero iba-iba naman daw every, every woman. So, don't take my word for it. That's how I would compare it to. But yeah, wala pa akong naramdaman ng pain na din. So, yun nga, in nila ako ng gas. An oxygen ba yun? I don't know if it... Kasi, at this point, nag-focus na lang ako sa ano, sa, dun sa sakit. Tinatry ko talagang i-enjoy. Kasi, every time din na magsasalita si Darren or si Jun, si Darren pala, from work, tumiretso na rin siya sa hospital kasi tinawagan namin siya na punta, punta na kami. Actually, siya yung tumawag. Sabi niya, nakita niya yung location namin. Sabi niya, pupunta. Kaya, anong oras pa lang yun? Sabi ko, yeah, well, punta na ako ng hospital. Tumawag na ako. Punta na. Lumiretso na rin siya doon. Tapos, yun na. Humingi na ako ng gas para matanggal yung edge. Pero sabi nung nurse, like, it's not gonna take the pain away completely. Pero tatanggalin niya yung edge. So, parang, it's just gonna help a bit. Pero, ando pa rin yung pain. Which is true. I still felt the pain. I still have to squeeze someone's hand every time na may contraction. Pag nagsasalita nga si Julian or nagpapatawa siya, I'm trying to shut him up. Kasi, kailangan ko mag-focus. Kasi masakit talaga. kami doon, mga 9 or 10 o'clock, may nag, may pumunta doon physician. Tapos, chinag din ako ng nurse. Chinag niya yung cervix ko kung kung dalita na ba ako. Which, to our surprise, 4 centimeters na ako. So, all along. All along talaga. Take a labor na ako. So, pag na-reach mo yung 4 centimeters, it means you just started your active labor. Yun. So, it's a matter of like waiting. It's waiting game. So, nung nakita nila 4 centimeters, na-admit na kami. Punta na kami ng, ng room. Meron na kami nasa examen na nurse. Nag-settle na rin kami. Kasi sa, sa triage, isang tao lang ang pwede. So, nagsasalitan lang si Julian at si Darren doon. So, pagkarating namin sa room, pwede ng dalawang tao. Kasi, right now, sa Surrey Memorial, I think they're just allowed to support people to come with the, ano, the, to the pregnant mom. Tinak na nila yung cardiac sky, yung blood pressure ko every hour. Chinecheck nila yung, yung blood pressure, temperature, um, oxygen level ng dugo. Ate, ano ka mag full on makeup ka pa? Um, Say hi to the vlog, guys. Yung ako na sa earth. 
tinanong na ako kung gusto ko mag-epidura. Which is, which is a no-brainer for me. Actually, I went into labor. Sorry. Not expecting for anything. Sabi ng mga nakausap ko, wag naman expect yung expectation mo, babaan mo, kasi you end up disappointing yourself. So, I was, I'm open to to vaginal delivery or cesarean. Pero, syempre, kung kaya namang mag-normal vaginal delivery, 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 syempre, to try natin. Pero, kung mag may, may release ako, no. So, yun. Open ako doon. Open ako kung kung kailangan ako hiwain. Sure. If, sab sabi ko kung matatry ko naman, bakit hindi. Tapos, open din ako sa epidural or sa kahit anong gamot. Kung may gamot man sila, ano, or kung i-induce. Sabi ko, inano ko talaga sa utak ko. I think, start ng third trimester, I started reading about it. It's scary. <laughs> Yun yung pinaka nakakatakot na part, yung, yung delivery talaga. Sabi ko, iniisip ko, ano siya magkakasya, paano yung recovery, nakakatakot, ganyan, ganyan. <laughs> iniisip ko pa lang din. <laughs> naalala ko, naalala ko kung gano'ng kahirap yung first few, yung first week ng recovery. I was so frustrated. <laughs> ha, emotional alalahanin. Pero, yeah. Sabi ko, open ako basta safe kaming dalawa. Safe, talo na to, safe to. Pinausap ko rin si Julian na pagkalabas niya dapat sa kanya sa kanya sa kanya siya nakatutok ko so, kailang ako sa kanya kasi ini, nasa usunta ko talaga yung, yung naka ano pa lang yun lalo na sa sarili worst worst case scenario talaga yung inisip ko sabi niya ganun ano you're gonna have contractions without feeling it mayroon to feel ka lang na tightening sabi ko that's a no-brainer. I would, yeah, I would do it. I will, I will take an epidural for sure. Cause the main reason why we're there is is to get her out. <laughs> so wakat pa ako to tung mupapa tung pick tung pick. So iyo ati ano ako. Tapos after that, sinabi din niya na after they uh, put you under, di ka magkakain. <laughs> so. Nung, nung narinig ko na tinatawag yun ay anesthesiologist. Sabi ko, wait, kaka-decide ko lang, so hindi na ako makakain. Tapos puti na lang, may dalang, may dalang protos dala. Pagka yun lang yung nakain ko, all throughout the day, wala na akong ibang yung kinain. Kasi after yung, after yung CNS epidural, that's it. Ano na, IV na lang yung, yung nutrients sa katawan ko. Okay. <laughs> Ano gusto mo, Jules? Captain's boy na. Gusto ko sushi yung raw. Oof. Salmon tapos. Sushi hipon tapos yung tapos. So that it was so scary. Yung yung thought na sabi ko, oh my god, gagalawin nila yung spine. Ay yung ano ko, yung spinal cord ko is so scary. Scared. Bago bago ako mag undergo ng labor. Yung 17 seasons ng Grey's Anatomy, yung mga dugo dugo doon, yung mga episodes na about about pregnancy na sa utak ko. Oh my god, mga complication ganyan ganyan. Pero syempre kasi doon ako, pero yung sa utak ko kinakabahan. Yung utak ko kinakabahan na may Nakatakot siya man yung process nung paglagay. I don't know. Hindi ko alam kung saan ko nilagay, saan, saan ko, paano ko pinakalma yung sarili ko. Pero yung fact na may tutusok sila dun sa sa pinaka-center yung central nervous system mo. No! The only time na nasa hospital ako at ang mga nga nakawa tapos papakailaman nila yung yung yun, yung spine tapos diretsya sa utak. Tapos sinabi niya pa lahat ng risk Lahat nung... I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I think I blacked out along the way. Pero yeah. The, the doctor was very professional and he's really good. Pero syempre ako na hindi, hindi naman ako takot sa needles. I look away when they do it. Pero I expect na may tusok na kita. <laughs> Grabe. Then after nun, 
nag na yung ito sa may chan. Pababa. Paa, meron pa namang itong ano lang, hanggang hips, I think? Or hanggang puwet? I don't know. Basta, check nila siya every every hour. Check na kung, kung may sensation ba. May na kung mga area na walang, walang, ano, walang sensation. They're, they're, they're making sure na umitak yung napadural na binigay. After that, sabi ng nurse ko, okay, now you can, ano, you can rest, you can sleep, ganyan, ganyan, while we wait for you to dilate and your contractions to get more regular. So, walang, walang, walang nangyayari. Pero, regular naman ang contraction ko. Pero, sabi ng OP, yeah, we have to do this because you're not progressing. We have to see if you're gonna do an MMA. Ito yun nila ako lagi sa oxytocin. Half an hour, this little baba had a reaction. Nag-drop yung heart rate niya. After nilang, after nila akong ilagay under uh, oxytocin, so may reaction siya. Siguro nagulat siya. Sabi nung, sabi nung explanation is baka reaction niya is kay is, ano, like it's too much for, ano, for her. Pira talaga nila yung, yung oxytocin. Kasi, I think yun yung nag-cause ng, ano, ng reaction. Tapos heartbeat niya bumagal for 7 minutes daw. 7 minutes, that's a long time. It's the scariest part na <laughs> experience ko. So yun, after nilang maayos, nanta nila yung oxytocin, then unexplained nung nurse, tapos nag-sorry siya sa akin. Kasi yun yung umiiyak na ako, oh, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. It's ganyan, ganyan. Kasi yun nga yung anxiety ko. <laughs> From the very beginning of pregnancy, hanggang second semester, second trimester, yun yung worry ko na, what if it doesn't stay? And tapos, come to the very end of my pregnancy, there may possibility pa pala na, mag ganun yung mangyari, na bumaba yung heart rate na sobrang tagal. It's so scary, man. Sorry, sorry, I should have, I should have communicated better. Yeah, I just didn't know what's going on. It's my, I'm very anxious. After that, we had a couple of minutes is inantay namin si yung OB na nag-check ng cervix ko. So, yun na, binigyan na kami ng option. I think mga alas stress na nasquad ko to. Yun na nangyay yung option. Put you under again. So, oxytocin. But we're gonna go slower just to check if may progress yung pag-delete ng cervix mo. Kasi, 
for now, we're not seeing any progress. It's four centimeters, but in the... So if you're committed to a vaginal delivery, then we try it again and we see how it go, okay? If not, we talk, I talk to the other obstetrician when he's done dealing with that emergency in triage, then he would come and get you all organized for C-section. I'm open. Open I'm not to C-section, but if we can try again, as long as once na may sign ng pag drop nung ano or any na reaction namin, we just gonna stop it right away. Kasi ano naman nila, in assure naman nila na once na may reaction, mapapatay naman nila yung oxytocin. So, may relief akong na ano dun, somehow, na okay. So, if something happen again, we can turn it off, then then stop it completely. And we're gonna, we're gonna be fine. Just, okay, so, I decided na, okay, we're gonna try again. We're gonna try to go under oxytocin and then put your thing down the gun. And then, if, ano, it's check na naman kami. Like, I think four or five hours after. And then, we're gonna decide what's gonna happen. So, someone's, someone's on, like, someone's keeping track of her, of everything. They check. They check them on every half an hour with our vitals and everything. I think mga alas sa is nata alas alas yente. Nag progress na yung ano yung yung dilation ko from four centimeters. Nang jump siya sa eight. Obi so ibang doctor na to. Pagka check nila okay eight centimeters na. Pero yun nga ibang doc since ibang doctor na to check nya den check nya na naman kung may ano nga kung nagbreak ng water ko na so yun ba kana nagbreak ng water mo so oh, it, it could be possible that I've been really stressed the past for, uh, for the previous days for the previous week kasi naalala nyo from vlogs before na we're moving talis kami ng landlord na so it could be it could be that too yung stress, siguro hindi ko na napansin nung nagsishower ako. Tapos nung chinak yung temperature ko, tas yung temperature ko, so meaning may fever ako. May infection ako. Yun pala, pag may infection ka, hindi ka pwedeng mag-deliver vaginally. <sighs> so yung walang expectation talaga, yeah, it's 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 right. Na hindi mo talaga ma-expect kung ano mangyayari within your stay there. So, sabi ko, okay, nag-progress nga, pero meron na naman kasi nanginginig na ako eh. Hindi ko alam kung nilalamig ako or because yung oxytocin na tumataas yung dose na binibigay nila sa akin, ay, positive na yun yun. Pero, infection, sabi. Sabi naman nila lahat daw ng fever is about infection. So, that. Like, okay, it's really not up to me now. Then, like, I just want, I just want my baby to come out safe. Just pagod na rin kasi ako. Sobrang lakas na nung contraction. Na kahit na may epidural ka is, I don't know. It's, it's re, it's a really weird feeling. Like, di mo na feel yung pain pero alam mo <laughs> masakit yun. Sabi dang doctor na to. Ay nang OB na to. Yeah, um, you progress, but we have to keep track. Yeah, because right now, na sa ano ako borderline ako. So, okay. Tapos tinanong namin kung ano yung ano yung course, ano yung course na if nagprogress ako at nagdelete ako ng ten centimeters, mahapag push ba ako or or derecho ano derecho si sex so ah. Uh, now, so I'm positive na um so it's safer na mag ano ka na lang mag C-sec but we're still gonna try for vaginal delivery which is which is good kasi binigyan niya pala kami option pero sa with your fever ganyan he had to keep an eye on that so binigyan niya kami na isa dalawang oras para i-check yung temperature ko vitals namin yung ganyan which is good pero nanginginig na talaga ako na like, giniginaw na ako. So, so tinawag nila yung surgeon, yung surgeon na talaga. Sabi niya, okay, you are 10 centimeters, you're fully dilated, and you can push. Pero nga, kinoconsider nila yung fever ko. 
hindi naman siya hindi naman siya ganun kalala I'm not a little bit sure don't take my word for it pero yun nga may risk sa pag pag sa vaginal delivery pag may fever also chinek din yung water na nagbreak na daw also chinek din yung pelvic floor baka hindi siya nakasya kasi nga nagsistart ng lumabas ito kaya nung lumabas siya medyo cone shape yung ulo niya kasi nagtiresa na siya pero hindi, wala pa siya dun sa basta meron silang sinasabing level eh kasi may uh, nasa taas ba siya tapos nasa gitna tapos yung nag-descent na kong baby nandun pa rin siya sa taas I don't know what they call it. So yun, sabi hindi pa rin siya nagde-design completely pero delicate na yung cervix. So I can push, kasi since 10 centimeters naman na, I can push but remember those risks. Or, diretso na lang lang ng OR for C-set. Tapos, inisip ko, what if I try, well, inisip na lang ni Julian, what if we try to push, tapos hindi ko naman kaya since maliit din yung ano yung pelvic ME then we have to rush to go to the OR ano yung Julian? ah di ganun din pero nag push ka what if hindi kaya ah di mag hurry pa sila na pumunta doon eh kung, kung ano na mag decide na tayo na sisek na at least alam na natin and this little one is gonna be with the little one's gonna be with us for sure before the night ends so, sabi ko, ayoko naman ng pahirapan siya kasi yung ano din niya, yung, yung heart rate niya tumataas na. Heart rate niya tumataas na. So, na-stress na rin siya sa loob, may ipit na siya. Gusto niya na rin lumabas. Kaya nag-decide na lang kami na, okay. Yeah, we're just, sabi ko kasi pinupush naman yung ano, you can still push, but after, after 10 to 20 minutes, if you can, yeah, we're just gonna go to the OR. Pwede ganun din. Binigyan ka lang ng konting time. It's not gonna be easy to push. Tapos kung may complication pa na ganun, sabi ko, okay, rule out na lang natin. Ay ayokong, ayokong may iba pang race. Gusto ko, go na sa labas na siya, sa labas na siya. Wala ng complication. I just wanna meet her. Then we decided, okay, yes, we're just gonna go. I don't, I don't wanna risk anything else. I'm a M. Then we signed the waiver. After that, we signed the waiver. We're gonna pay na kami. Ako na si Darren. May change outfit na si Julian. Pa si isang tao lang ang pwede dito sa mga. went well it's just really weird feeling ay ito, ito yung part na ayaw ko ikwento pero it's essential this is for sky if you see this in the future ay baby if you see this if you see this ako lagi ko nang grown up guys hmm if you see the video in the future <laughs> know that it's really weird feeling people's hands tugging like that just to get get me out of my bed 
Tapos, pinicturean pa. Pinicturean pa nila yung, yung mga doob ko. Nope, I'm not gonna show you. Pinicturean pa nila yung para akong, oh, cute ang kita lahat. So scary, but everything for you, pop. Yeah, it's really weird. It's a really weird sensation na you know, it's very busy down there. Tapos, ikaw na kagandang Tas yung reaction ko was oxytocin, nanginginig ako. Like, I can't, I can't stop, like, shivering. Tas nandun lang si Juna, he can't do anything. Hinawak lang nyo yung kamay ko. Tapos, yun, yung, yung narinig ko ang nalag ko siya. Oh my god, look at this, my big girl! Sabi ng mga dito. Uh, chewy, 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 go, 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 go. Total chewy, there you yeah. go. Ah, yeah. 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 Recovery is a mother flipping beep. I stayed at the hospital for a couple of days for my recovery. They made they made sure na I pass gas, I pee, I can pee, I can poo, I can walk on my own. Tapos yung pain, yung pain sensation ko is tolerable. <laughs> support people Darren Darren and Julian also with the people checking up on us thank you po also my parents and parents ni Julian I'm very excited to meet the little one si Tita Detna every every you know every break nasa nasa room namin to check up on us thank you Tita sa ano sa pag-aalaga sa amin and yeah, we got this charge with dividend extend. Magkano yun, boss? Ba't nakasimama? Yung ano lang po, boss. Bwera nyo lang po yung bill ng hospital. <laughs> boss, nakasimama. Paano mo, paano mo yun ibibenta, boss? Walang bibili dyan. Ano nga, minakalas yung business ko. Eh. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Alright. Daddy, this is our baby, Sky. <laughs> This is mommy, <laughs> always her mask on. This is our auntie. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations, everybody. Bye. Bye.